Hey guys, this is going to be a quick review of the Zero Water 10 cup pitcher. Uh, Kayla and I have had a Brita pitcher for about three years now, and it works pretty good, but it was time to replace it. So we went to Target and we looked at some of the options and we decided to go with the Zero Water. And one of the things we got with it was this little stick, kind of looks like a USB, but much longer, and it measures the particles per million. And I just want to kind of show you this. This is our tap water, and it's got 408 particles per million. And then this is our Brita water. If I can get this to hold. And it's got 380. So it's not doing that great of a job. But then you've got the zero. And it's getting 24. So you can see it's already a major improvement. And it should be much lower, but I don't think I did a very good job cleaning out the pitcher or possibly those cups before putting the water in it. They say that you should be able to get it all the way down to 000, and then when it gets to 6, you should replace the filter. Okay, and here's the actual pitcher itself. And it looks just like every other water pitcher except this one feature that I particularly like, it's got a little tiny nozzle right here on the back underneath the handle. So when you're sitting, so excuse me, so when the pitcher is sitting in the refrigerator and you just want to get a quick glass of water, you don't have to pick the pitcher up or move it. All you need to do is hold your water uh, cup or glass or whatever up to the back of the, you know, the spine of the pitcher and press that button and boom, you've got water. And uh, we really like that feature. Other than that, it's got a five-stage filter, which is considerably more than the Brita or the other one. All the other pitchers use a two-stage filter, uh, and that's how it gets you know so many particles per million removed from the water you drink. The downside to that is we found that it takes much longer to filter water. Uh, it would probably take I don't know 15 minutes to filter just that to fill that full pitcher right there, just because it, it moves so slowly. Uh, so that's a trade-off. It's worth mentioning. This particular filter goes on Amazon, I think, for about $31, bucks, $30, $32, something like that. And I believe the Brita that we had before is only like $25. So it's a, the zero is a little bit more money. But again, it really, it really comes down to how clean do you want your water. Not to mention, it tastes so much better. It just tastes smoother. Uh, you'd really have to try it so, you, so you'd understand it. I certainly suggest picking one up at you know, any local Walmart or Target or whatever uh, store, you know, sells them or of course Amazon and I'll put links uh, in the description box below. Uh, can't recommend it enough. It's awesome.